Still an Aphalabs. Fucking hey, throw fish the Aphalabs. Do you have to go to like fucking? I was able to locate oh. your position. Lorcan is the beginning of malfunction and shut down. Massive service disruption throughout the entire base. How long I'll be able to track? Bravo team has just entered the end pro. Slot. Pick up the pace. Warned far behind. Lucky left the ten in there and then reconsidered it. <laughs> I was bashing it. Alright. So we got back to this armor shows. I'll take it. <laughs> you know you will. The dead the devs knew you'd take it. Hey you! Devs made this game for me. You fucking monster! What have you done? I can't cancel. I morally object to this. Hey, he's dead. Watch it. Watch him. That he fucking get, would give us something later. Uh, the game's gonna punish us by sending enemies at us. All right. Where did he come from? Where, what do you mean? Where? Who? Where did who come from? This guy back here. Where are you? The guy came from behind us. Oh, I don't know. They, just, they spawn randomly. They came, they came from the other alpha labs. Came from the airlock that we just came through. Exactly. That wasn't cycled at all. Come on, yeah, go. about that. I'm out of st uh. Whoops, I died. I gave <laughs> <I gimped> you! <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> the health pool is down, now back to zero. <laughs> Alright, let's let's never go into that thing again. <laughs> you got fucked. Oh, I got I downloaded a video. Time to watch a video. Legally. Or, and also, there's a secu uh, there's an audio report. So. Security log number three zero seven two for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November fifteenth, two one four five. I've just come from the armament division where I was issued one of the new BFG nine thousand series weapons. <laughs> well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one. Around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. Guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security report in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. In a quest to provide armies with a well-balanced set of weapons, UAC looked to the past when designing and manufacturing the newest line of Mach 2 chain guns. The retro style and mechanical sturdiness of the chain gun is a must for all hardened combat veterans. Early adapters have nicknamed it Saw. With its armor-piercing 30 caliber bullets, the chain gun is capable of literally cutting opponents in two. Packed with all the punch you need in close combat fighting, the chain gun delivers unparalleled reliability and functionality. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Okay, a chain gun for close range combat is apparently what it was for. I, I like that idea. I like the smoldering ash. <laughs> the guy you murdered? Yeah. He had it coming. Uh, 901 is the, the code for the BFG, by the way. Do you remember that? Fuck. Why, why would a chain gun be a thing for a close range combat, though? I have no idea. Also, isn't there enough close combat weapons in this game? Your fists, you got other fists. I'm gonna punch a spider. I thought of that. Oh wow, they die in one hit. <laughs> yeah, they die in like one hit to anything. Uh. 
I dumped the chain gun ineffective. It, it, it really isn't that good. Most of the weapons are actually pretty shit in this game. The shotgun is like probably the best thing as well as with this, this weapon right here. Come on, hurry, Ken. Spoo. Ken, dude, we is that we you? We won't pass the trigger. We need to follow the footstep. Ken, you said come on, hurry. This is my arm. <laughs> That fuck the spook trigger. Marine, I already, I already heard that. schematics show all passages out of your area blocked. The only way through is by traversing the EFR, the mechanical subsystem with two possible routes. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridges is safer, but the lighting systems are fried. Make your choice. Oh, I already, I already made my choice. I, I chose the one without the lighting system. One second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm looking at my PDA. This is the audio log of plant manager Henry Nelson, dated October 24, 2145. I don't know how I should report this, so I'll just talk about what I know and what I need. I've had quite a few employees reporting to me that they've heard strange sounds, like voices talking. Where'd you go? Calling them. Downstairs. Even when they were alone. Why? Us. At first, I didn't believe them. Well, I guess we're looking to loot down there. Around, but they assured me they were serious. I ignored the stories at first. Until one day, I heard something too. I was working on one of the lift up service panels, and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, Over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely empty. I looked around, but I didn't see another saw. I even checked the work logs, but no one else was working near that area. I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little spooked, and some of the guys are even talking about ghosts. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that a security team make a thorough check of the EFR area. Thank you. Henry Nelson. Alright, so they, they have to make a... they have to check the fucking EFR area or something. I'm just gonna watch you combat that guy. Actually, I'm gonna snipe him. I like how you're in an arena literally for my own amusement, Kent. Like the part where I died from fall damage. Oh shit. <laughs> I died too! <laughs> that <could be> good. <laughs> Just as you fucking say it. I think it's it this morning, dude. Okay, I'm gonna bomb them, okay? Pressing fire. All right, you done down there? Oh, mother of mercy! You done? All right, this guy here. Your reward is grenades. Huh? There's a loot thing down here. I, I think I, I think I got him. No, it was guarded by the imps. Oh shit! Now I have to go down there. It's plasma and grenades and ammo and yeah, armor. It's worth it. I mean, plasma alone, right? I like the plasma gun. Where is it? How did you not find that health? It's not, it's in that oh, lower area. I see it. I probably didn't need it. Oh well, well, I don't know why I didn't find it. It was guarded by imps. Like, I have to deathmatch all those imps to get it. Yeah, all by yourself, huh? Yeah, that was entirely me. Yep. Damn it! I, I'm gonna have to walk slowly. Yeah, you're fat. Why? Why did they make a sprint meter? It doesn't have any meaning until it runs out. Like most of the time, I'm running around. So add an extra level of strategy to the game. Thanks. Yeah, something spawned at the me. Alright, you got him. Like, hit anything spawn, check behind you. Pretty much, yeah. It's the rule. You know, this this was a con this was ported to the consoles, you know. H how did they turn around at any point? Usually have the button for that. Ah, uh, like, that's true. 
You know, yeah. it just occurred to me, we are not playing the BFG edition. What is so... I know that there's no co-op mods for the BFG edition, that's why I didn't really fucking care. I finally come like, the BFG edition has made the game worse. Like, I'm not sure, but... Mod it third, like, it just made the game run, like, shit. Okay. Oh yeah, they locked it to, like, 60 FPS, I think. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, like, they just said all the old mods didn't work, but you could use... to change the lightning mechanics. Which is the only real good thing, I think. It, what they do to it? You could get, you could get, all the weapons have flashlights. But like it was a, it was weird how they did it. How'd they do it? Forget. I just know it was weird. Like I know I'm really great for information there, but I don't play BFG. Well, you stood in front of me. Stop punching the. Oh god, they're hurting me. <laughs> I only have 34 health. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, do you wanna get shot by your friend or the imp? If you're shot by your friend, you sell your armor. Well played, devs. Do anything else, Spooky. Keep going. Oh. Over here. Oh, possible rifle. Predator? Keep you confirmed. That's the best reload sound. I can get the reload sound and put it in brutal doom. Adrenaline! Uh, that, that, if anything, is the only thing we got right with us. Dude, there's adrenaline back here, you should get that. Where? It's back in that room. Which room? Great, now I don't know where I am. Oh. That would have hit it. What does adrenaline do anyways? Infinite speed. Infinite running. Where the fuck is it? Tell me where it is. Oh, fucking kids. I want to know. Oh, I, I got it. Yay. No, oh, you ate it. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> ten. Yeah. Yay. Yay, ten. Is, this, is that going to be the magic number? We're just going to do that to everything? I think I'd be somewhat considerate. You did that. You did complain last time. I know. Okay, one second. I have a code here. Uh, six five one. Yeah. No. You know what? I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use the plasma again. Don't you dare! It's our word. It's our word. So ammo. Waste of ammo. If you want to really conserve ammo, you'd use the pistol on these guys. Not even. I think the pistol armor does slightly more damage. I got him. We'll rip that guy. Need health. What's over here? Just way forward. I don't know. It would appear so. Oh wait, no. It's a nice BFG. All right, let's uh, go back this way because this is probably this is not the way forward. That's the way we should go. I like the way you think. Armor. Yeah, we, <laughs> you're just like in the, in the box. Like, Ken, this is my box fort. <laughs> <laughs> I will be protected from all the monsters there. None of the girls can touch me here. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Uh, 
Ah, das war's. You only ten. Oh, sorry. Hypocrite. What's over here? It doesn't have any nipples. It broke my merge. Oh, what the fuck? I died instantly to physics. Oh my god. Why is that the most deadliest the thing? Do I, that's the deadliest thing is physics. <laughs> it's killed me three times. Adrenaline. Oh, that reminds me of one thing they did in uh, BFG edition. What? I think they fixed, um... They finally mastered the weapon you were holding showing in the cutscene tech. Oh. So if you were holding the plasma gun, you'd be holding the plasma gun. Not well, just a shotgun every time. Is this guy wiggling for you? No. He is for me. Stop that. Cease and desist. Alright. Halt, criminal. Where do we go? Oh, I guess we go back? No, we open the door. Aha, I killed you. 399? We didn't even get to 400 health. For shame. 400 is, I think, the benchmark for minimum. So basically, next uh, map change. Bravo team, entry secure. Move in and take positions. Quiet. Did you hear that? This is late. Give me status. Always clear. There's nothing here, Sam. Go on! The game all of a sudden got really loud. Damn it. Ken, did you do that? Warning. Your designs are so badly. Offline. Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. <laughs> Marine, Five. Bravo team is down. Their operational status is unknown. They were carrying a military transmission card. It's vital you retrieve that card as it contains encoded data needed to send the distress signal to the fleet. For the last hope of getting the forces. Find that card and find it fast. What? Robot! Robot? It's like, there's, there's shit in here. Alright, I'll follow him. I'm not shooting at all, you can fight for me. Alright. Attention. You no, know, I need to save his life. You, you want to save the robot now? I don't want to die. It's the best. Warning. Coolant drive 2 offline. Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Can they even die? Yep, they can. I think he's got it. Sleek stopped. Fire extinguished. And map gas leaks. <laughs> Brobot. Oh, I came back for us. I'll just be behind here, letting them spot all behind us. Oh, wants to go this way. Alright. Got grenades. Oh no, I died! Which, which never happens. What the fuck even killed me? I only got 75 health from the health pool. I can pick up your plasma gun! <laughs> I already have one. Oh, I, I, it looks like I lose some of my ammo. 
And the, and the robot only follows me, it doesn't follow you. Who doesn't like you? Well, there's health and ammo over here when you died, so... Look at that. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know why I died. I was at, like, high health. I imagine you took health damage. Oh. Uh. Yeah, about that. Why are you over there? Looking around. Boss. I cannot see shit. Human nutshell. How much shit is gonna spawn here? Oh, please tell me robot lives. Yeah, he's over there. Robot, yes! Do not let him die. Protect him at all costs. Warning. Coolant drive 2 offline. Alright, he's done. Yes! Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Warning. Coolant rod 2 offline. The cat is the witch. Do you hear the witch? Main reactor operation temperature exceeding safe levels. Lights. Do you hear the witch? No. Go ahead. Walk. Witch. I see. Lights. Off. Guys are like one hit. Oh. Service bridge now operational. Necessary. Look, they died. Why does everything die in one hit? Okay, this is definitely no, not they're hard. Like the fucking minion enemies, like just the shit. I'm pretty sure they they always took more than one hit to to kill before. In Doom One, maybe. I, is that what I'm, I'm thinking of? Like in Doom, uh, original Doom, yeah, they were lost souls were harder to kill. Because they're that... not really lost souls, but they are. They're not. Oh god, there's a ton of fucking logs. I got three to listen to, so I'm going to start. Paul Rad, Chief Technical Officer for the Enpro facility. During my weekly inspection of the coolant system, I discovered yet another safety violation. As I've stated repeatedly, our service manuals must be followed to the letter. Now this includes changing back filters for the coolant system on schedule and not when maintenance gets around to it. As you know, unclean back filters will create pressure inside the coolant system's release tubes. Even a minor disruption in a release tube can dislodge or destroy its coolant rod, overheating the core, and possibly sending the entire facility up in smoke. Now let me be clear, what the hell? if I I'm see this again, it's open. the team responsible will be transferred to sewage treatment before the day is over. I'm, I'm listening to logs. Stop talking. Paul Rad, Chief Technical Officer for the Enpro facility. I appreciate UAC's concerns following the number of stress-related illnesses spreading throughout the base. However, I don't understand why we require such a large detail of armed security bots in Enpro. Now, you may disagree, but I trust my team's mental condition far more than whatever programming is running inside those bots. Which brings me to the reason for this report. Today, one of my best engineers, Patrick Thomas, was nearly shot when a bot refused his clearance. That's right, shot. Luckily, a nearby team from maintenance caught up to it and smashed it with a pipe wrench before it could chase Pat down. Now, it'll be days before he's ready to return to work, and I don't think you'll ever get him close to one of those bots again. Our jobs are difficult enough without needing to avoid getting shot. If we're going to be treated like prisoners, I respectfully request that you afford us the courtesy of being guarded by people instead of machines. All right, one more. This is the audio log of weapon analyst Teresa Chazar, dated November 3rd, 2145. I'm pleased to report that the preliminary tests on the ammo storage in the new Mach 3 plasma gun has far exceeded our expectations. We've realized a full 50% gain in the storage capacity of ammo packs as a result of utilizing techniques engineered in the Alpha Lab's molecular compactor. I believe with the ongoing compaction research, we will reach our goal of three times the plasma storage currently available in standard ammo packs. 
would also like to mention that all of the employees here at the Enpro plant have been very helpful and quite eager to accommodate all of my requests. For security reasons, I have locked the plasma gun and the extra ammo in locker 063 with door code 972. End of lock. Ta da! Is it a why I couldn't open it? 972? I put the code in. It was green for me. Ah, oh, he's running through. Attention. All personnel evacuate. That work. Oh. They take they take slightly more than one plasma shot to kill. Uh sorry, one more more ammo with this thing. The plasma gun that kills him in one hit. The plasma gun is good I at guess everything. It, it, I guess it depends what kind of ammo you can tell you more than. It does. Please contact plant management for immediate assistance. Later. Oh, screw. Speed run. This is wrong. Fuck, man. It's gonna be that for now. I'm on your two. You're <laughs> not coming. <laughs> later, we'll deal with him later. <laughs> Fuck it. Warning. Reactor core temperature. Do you want to play the game? Do you matter? 85 degrees <laughs> Celsius. Hey, do you have any armor left? Warning. Reactor core temperature. Holy shit! Thanks for your machine gun ammo, Square. <laughs> Oh, it's supposed to be up here. Fuck, dude. Get his hands on it. I don't know what. Hey, you want these people's threats? <laughs> How do I activate this thing? Let me figure out. I'm ready to go. I didn't know you'd get shot up and then keep die by fall damage. Back there. <laughs> just gonna stay up there. The room full of spook. Let's go by this door that you can unlock. You're, you're missing plasma ammo though. I'm full on engine. Full on pistol. Full on shotgun. Full on machine. Actually, I machine gun ammo. Warning: reactor core temperature 900 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Alright, time to restore the health pool. I could not die if I... Nope. Nope, cuts in. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll spawn down here. Come in, Ken. Hurry, I can't hold the wall off without you. <laughs> I'm sorry for a shock out of you, apparently. How far did you fly up? I, I went all the way up. <laughs> what the fuck? I went pretty far up, dude. That's, that's a pretty awesome shotgun. Yeah, the knockback is pretty fucking awesome. It didn't help that I was already trying to jump on your head. You know there's an imp just waiting for me right here, and he's not even doing anything. I'm gonna try and sneak past him. Stealth? Suddenly? Yeah. Damn it. I alerted the horde. He was just kinda waiting there, passively not doing anything. Okay, where are you? Oh, you're over there. I'm in the room yet to unlock. 
Oh, I can't. Hey, girl. Why would you shoot me? I just got armor. Oh, oh I didn't know. Ow. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's now. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Why do I play games with you? Because you love me. I treat you right, man. <laughs> ah, that's a zombie down there. That's not a zombie. It's yeah, it's a goose. zombie. It's not a zombie. It's a special infected. Oh, that's that's probably more correct. Tag. Alright. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, plasma on a zombie, yeah. Do you know how much ammo I have for this thing? Uh, More than five. <laughs> Alright. You're gonna be careful now so you don't just knock me back into things. Well, now that we know we can do that, it's like the best way. Physics is like the worst enemy. Alright, there's one following you. Hang on. He's trying to get the drop on me. I showed him though. Hey, what's that? I don't know. That's a scanning device. Oh. One, two, three. Four, five. Nine. Let's try, nerd. Uh, Not today. You missed some shit down here. Again. God, why do I play games with you? God, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want the health. You know, I really wish it was an infinite sprint. I, I don't know why it doesn't have it, but whatever. <laughs> really, you can do that? Like during cutscenes? <laughs> during cutscenes. <laughs> where are you? To get the armor. You're where? PDA. Oh, oh Steve Hammer. Let's listen to his shit. Steve Hammer, service what? technician. Okay. Since Private Swenson wigged out, shot up that drink machine, then lit himself up with a oh. plasma gun, we've all been Get your ass to Mars, Marie. All of us in maintenance knew he was losing it. Finally, when that darn drink machine so wouldn't accept everything? his credits, he lost it. Started swearing up and down, and you had to laugh when that machine lit up. But before any of us could react, he fed himself enough plasma to power an office building. There wasn't enough head to clean up. Just vapor. It's a bad thing to happen to anyone. Anyway, I know with all the psych problems we've had lately, we need the additional security, but when the guards start going nuts... I don't know, all this extra weapons and ammunition... I mean, do we really need so much firepower laying around? Well, a couple of us decided to lock up all of the unsecured plasma rounds we could find. The code is 734. I think we'll all sleep a bit better tonight knowing it's locked up. Okay, plasma ammo. It's unlocked. Can't. 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 Where are you? I'm where the plasma ammo door was. Uh, the guy had, um... It's a fucking long email. This is why I don't read these things, really. So fuck it. Come on, right here. Oh. Like you need more of this, but you know, fucking 500 ammo. It's a rebel horror. It's a rebel horror. I mean, it God, really. God, he had rebel in. All right, 
I think that's it then. So later, everyone. But I, I can. I like how I can. Go, I can fly around the map. I'm spectating. <laughs>